All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation, and hope for luck out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom unto the hopeful the believers, the listeners whom have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shema Shai? And what I want to get into today, you know, it's just real quick the morning exhortation is to make sure that we're all examining ourselves, you know, as we come up um, upon the day of atonement, all right, which would be Wednesday sundown and Thursday sundown, you know, it's a heavy time to reflect, all right, on ourselves in the spirit, you know, we're in a time now where heavy. Enchantments are going out, you know. Satan, all right, is his hard body, you know, trying to sift, you know, draw things out, draw carnality out of people, you know, draw emotions, you know, make people offended at particular things, you know, to sift you out of here, man, to sift us out of here. You see, and we have to make sure that we examine ourselves as the scriptures say, you know, men and women, all right. Now, when you get 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, it says, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Prove yourselves, know ye not, all right, know ye not <clears throat> your own selves, how that your how was shy, but Mashiach is in you, except you be reprobates. And the scripture says, know ye not your own selves, man, you know? And we have to make an honest assessment of ourselves man you should know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone because we with ourselves all the time all right and one thing about it you don't want to be in this mindset as if you already got it if you are already good like your spot all right is secured all right you don't want to be in that mind frame because when you go to um matter of fact let's get that in philippians You go to Philippians, all right, chapter three. This is the mindset of the Apostle Paul, man. And who labored like the Apostle Paul, you know? Who who who's showed favor, you know? Look how much favor the Apostle Paul was shown and what he went through and endured. But look at the mind frame he kept. This is uh Philippians three and thirteen, brethren. I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. And when you're reaching, all right, for those things which are before, which are the kingdom, you know, that's a lifestyle. There are certain things that you don't do anymore. There's a certain mind frame. That's a certain mind frame that you don't have anymore. All right? The more you reach forward and press towards the mark, the more, all right, old ways fade away. The scriptures say how, you know, even though the old man perish, the inward man is renewed day by day. And once you stop that process of the inward man being renewed day by day, that's because you think you got it already. You think your spot is secure. You think, you know, something has happened to you within the ministry that, you know, your spot is, 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 is you know, <laughs> it's written in stone And we don't know That's why the Apostle Paul said I count not myself to have apprehended Man, and you don't want to come in that energy As if you good You know We serve you How about Shema Shah With fear and trembling, man we, which, which, mean, which means we watch what we say We watch how we teach We're very mindful how we teach, man Alright Making sure that, we in, that we're in order You know Mindful of the energy that we putting out there. Mindful of, you know, who's watching. You see? And that's men and women. You know, and for, you know, I'm going to say this. All right? Just to uh, attack the energy that's out there. All right? Dealing with women. It's not cute. All right? For women to try to be so deep, man. That's not an attractive uh, trait, man. All right, that's masculine energy, man. You know, that makes you no different, all right, 
from just a, a masculine nigga woman in the world, man. You got this combative spirit. You know, you got this spirit as if, you know, you're going to one up a brother. You see? You got this mind frame like if you if you cut a brother like the most high going to be applauding it. Your house shot going to be applauding it. You trying to cut a brother. You know? You trying to slick teach, man. That's not cute, man. And brothers hate that shit. Like, one thing that you women gonna understand, man, in the time to come, it's gonna be about what brothers like. You don't have no direct link to your how about shit, man, I was shot. Now, if you a sincere sister in the background, you just, you know, humbly waiting, you know, you truly gonna humble down and you just in the cut, you know, your how about shit, man, I was shot gonna preserve you. But you, you know, if you a woman out here in this masculine spirit or trying to be so deep in the precepts, you know, like you got a seat at the table of, of, of the council with the with the Akim, you know, you're going to be left behind, man. Don't nobody like that shit, man. That's the, that's the, the reason, <laughs> you know, we withdrew from the world. That's the same energy. You see? That's the same goddamn energy that we speak on, you know, you got to get out of that shit, man, we right way past that, man, we in the middle of chaos, man, like Elder Apostle Hart said, he been saying lately, like, the most high can bug you out, all right, make you take this mad potion, and ultimately take up the mark of the beast, and hit you with a missile, man. It's all up to the will. We all subjugated to the will of your how about shit, man, shot. We need mercy. You know? You have brothers and sisters moving like they don't need mercy. Like they can say anything. They can, you know, they can have this challenging spirit. Okay? That they, they, they spirit of, you know, they ain't got to take heed to the authority of a man. That energy is still there. You're going to be left behind, man. Hey, I'm going say, to say it again. What women going to understand, what Israelite women going to understand before this thing is all over with, the Lord, it's going to be all based on, for women, it's going to be based on what does my servants like? What do they like? All right? That's going to be the, that's going to be the key. That's going to be the ticket out of here, man. You know? I say that's masculine energy trying to be so deep in the scriptures, man. That's 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 unattractive, all right, to a man that's being conformed to your Howard shot, man. Get out that shit, man. You know? And brothers don't be, you know, uh 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 you know passive, alright, having that simp spirit with these women, man. You know? And that's something we all got to make sure, all right, because, you know, there's a lot of people that are full of shit and full of games, man, you know? And they try to look at brothers like they just simple niggas in the world, you know? Like we low-level niggas that they used to run in circles around, man. No, man, that shit over with, man. We see that shit from a mile away, all these little games and the way you ask questions in a way. No, man, all right? Don't be... You know, simple for these damn women, man. All right? A lot of them, all right, gonna be put to death, man. If they don't get their ass together, man, they be doing too much. That's another thing. Don't be in that doing too much spirit, man. Just chill. All you gotta do is be liked. You know? And the way you do that is just be a woman. All right? You're not gonna get a round of applause for trying to be, you know, so deep. In the scriptures, man, that ain't what you, that ain't how you built. You're not built for that. You see? So, we in the time now, man, where we got to really examine ourselves, man. Really, you know, we got to examine pride, you know, because it's easy to get prideful, man. I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. It's easy to be proud. You see? It, it, it's easy, you know, to, to, uh, uh, for the world to start snatching at you and gradually draw you back in, man. It's easily, you know, for that old man to be awakened, you know, with that thought process, man. So we have to constantly examine ourselves, man, and be honest with it, man. You know? 
So Lord will, this was edifying. I just want to touch on that real quick. All right. Um, till next time, I say shalom.